Hello my friends, I'm Clover, this is Gas, and this puzzle is a Napdanabin killer, originally posted by Bill Murphy on November 8th, 2024. Let's have a look. So we have normal Sudoku rules, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outline 3 by 3 region. And then we also have some cages in the grid. Typically in color Sudoku, the rule is that the clue written in the top left corner of the cage tells you the sum of the numbers in that cage, which may not repeat. In this particular puzzle, Napdanabin refers to um, the German phrase meaning that it's off by one. Um, I think that's I think that's what it means technically. It definitely refers to uh, Sudoku or other puzzles in which clues are off by one. And in this case, it means that the total written in each killer cage is off by one from what's actually shown in the clue. So whatever the total is in this cage has to be either one greater than three or one less than three. Well, one less than three would be impossible. We'd have to have two ones in the cage to make two. So it must be one greater than three. So it must be a sum of four. We have to either go one less than five, which is impossible. We can't do four or one greater than five, which we can do. It's two plus four equals six. Eleven. Well, we can't go down to 10 because we don't have any low digits left. So we have to go up to 12. And the only remaining way to make 12 is 5 plus 7. 13 can't go down 1 to 12. We've used up all of our low digits that could possibly be a component of a sum of 12. So this has to sum to 14. So that must be 6 plus 8. And that makes this value 9. Now we have a 9 cage that has a 9 in it. So we can only go to at most 10 to be off by only 1. So that is going to be a 1. Now if we want to make a sum of 5 can't go down by one because we would have to do one plus three and we've already used the one. So we have to go up by one and make a total of six, which is two plus four. All right, now to make 17, we can't go up one to 18, we'd have two nines. So we have to go down one to 16, which will be seven plus nine. Now 14, if we were to try to go up one, we would be at 15. There are two ways to make a sum of 15, either six plus nine, which will not work in this column or seven plus eight, which will also not work in this column. So we must be going down by one to 13. And the only remaining way to make 13 in this column with the digits we have left is gonna be five plus eight. That means this 10 clue is three plus six, which is nine, which checks out. 15, we cannot go up by one here because we can't go up to 16. We've already used both of the digits involved in that. So we have to be going down by one to 14. So that's gonna be six plus eight. And our remaining numbers here are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, what next? So to make a total of 10 in this 9 cage, we would have to include a large digit, which we don't have. So the total here must in fact be 8, which will be 3 plus 5 using the remaining digits. And these are going to be 2 plus 4. That's going to be a 1. So now the most we can make this is 10. So we're going to make that a 10 by placing a 9. The one makes this a three and a one. Now for 15, we can't go up to 16 because we've already used the nine. So we're gonna have to go down to 14 and make it six plus eight. For six, we can't go down to five because we've already used the one and the three. There are no remaining ways to make five. So we gotta go up by one to seven, make it two plus five. And therefore these are going to be four plus seven or 11, which is one greater than 10. Now let's simplify some of these pencil marks we've placed. So the four, seven pair gives us a two and a four, and then the two resolves this two, four pair. Um, the three, six here gives us an eight and a six, which resolves this six, eight pair here. And let's check out this five cage. So the most this could possibly be a six, but the smallest number I could put in the cell I have highlighted right now is a five, which means we have to make this a five, one, summing to exactly six. Now, how do we make this either five or seven? We can't make it five because we can't do two plus three. We can't do one plus four. So we got to make it a sum of seven, which is going to be one plus six, which resolves like that, given the digits we already have placed. And now that we've placed a six here, that's going to be a three and a six. These will be 3, 5, and 7, so that is not a 3, that's not a 5, just by Sudoku. Now over here, 15, we can't go up by 1 to 16 because that would be 7 plus 9, and we've already used both of those digits in this region, so we have to be going down by 1 to 14, which in this case will be 5 plus 9. And that's going to resolve some stuff for us. The 5 goes there, the 9 goes there. In this row, we still need 1, 2, and 4, 
the only way we can make a sum that's off by one from seven, but with those numbers, is going to be two plus four, like this. Two, four, and one. Then this will be a two, four pair, and these will be one, seven, and eight. Here I need a seven, eight, and nine. And that's not going to be a seven. And here in this region, I'm going to need six, eight, and nine. All right. 14 can't go up by 1 because we can't do 6 plus 9 in the column, and we can't do 7 plus 8 in the column because 6 and 8 are both taken. So we're going to have to go down by 1 to 13. We could do 4 plus 9. Can't do 5 plus 8. Can't do 6 plus 7. So it is 4 plus 9, which go that way around because of the 9 in this region. So that's going to be a 2 and a 4. And we get to resolve a few things there. So this will now be 3, 5, and 7 to finish off this region. And that gives us kind of all of these lovely cornery regions here. So we have a 4 there, which resolves the 2 and the 4. And then in this column, we're going to have 1, 3, and 7. Here, to make a sum of 13, we could go down to 12, which would be 3 plus 9. We could also go up to 14, which would be 6 plus 8. This can't be 6 or 9, so this can't be 3 or 8. This can't be a 7 or a 5, so that's going to be 3, 7, and 5. So this is going to be my 6 plus 8, making this a 9. And resolving that. Fantastic. That can no longer be a 7, so that resolves like that. 9 could either be an 8 in reality or a 10 in reality, meaning this is either a 5 or a 7. We don't know which is which yet, but we're going to figure that out quickly. These can't be 8 by Sudoku. This cell can't be 9 by Sudoku, so that is a 7. That means this can't have a sum of 14, so it must have a sum of 12. And that resolves like that. And now just cleaning up with a little bit of classic Sudoku. And I'm going to finish this column. These are going to be 2, 3, and 4. These are going to be 1, 2, and not 7, actually. 1, 2, and 9. These will be 3, 4, and 8. To finish this region. And these cells are going to be 2, 6, and 7. And that is how you solve Bill Murphy's Naptanabin Killer. Hope you enjoyed that. A little bit different for gas. We don't usually get into the liar puzzles, but this one was very nice and approachable. Pretty relaxing puzzle. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Bill. And if you want to try it yourself, the link to solve is in the description of this video. I'll see you again in three days.